chat gpt is a cool new ai tool from open ai that everyone is talking about in this chat gpt tutorial we will be doing a couple of things creating a new account on open ai and logging and using chat gpt so let's begin open up any browser in my case i will be using mozilla firefox in the address bar you would type in chat dot openai.com on the welcome screen you will see two options login and sign up since we do not have any account yet so click on sign up to create a new account as the first step you need to provide an email id to register yourself so i will be using ai chat guru at the rate gmail.com and then click continue next type in the password for your account your browser may suggest you a strong password so i will choose the suggested password but you can also type in what you desire let me save it for future reference so that i need not to type in the password each time i want to log in next you will be redirected to the email verification page which ask you to open your email and verify it so you should open your email account and look for an email from open ai if you don't receive the email in your inbox then do check your spam folder so in my case it was in the spam folder now open the email and click on verify email address so you can see there is a warning message that the email seems dangerous but it's safe as we know that it has come from open ai where we wanted to create our account the warning was there because the email was in the spam folder and gmail has this precautionary measure to warn the users okay so i just refreshed the page and opened my email again and clicked on verify email address and we are redirected to chat.openai.com again for further verification steps where it asks for your phone number so type in the mobile number and choose whether you want to verify the number via whatsapp message or a normal sms message so i clicked yes and i got my otp on my whatsapp if you click no then you will get the otp as a normal sms so verify the otp code and you are redirected to the next step here it tells you little bit about the project so you can read through and click next some more details so click next some more details regarding the feedback click next and that's it so you have successfully created your chat gpt account now you can type in and ask any question and you will get the answer so let's check and ask it about chat gpt itself so what is chat gpt so you get a reply so you can read through it now some of you might think we get this from google also so why would i use chat gpt but from google you don't get an answer google gives you the links of possible web pages which might have the answer so you have to read through those pages and find what you are looking for but in case of chat gpt you get a fixed answer from it now let's suppose you can't understand what the answer is and it's bit complicated so what we can do here is explain it in a easy language so now so you get the response to the same question that was asked earlier so chat gpt is able to remember the previous conversation and now this time it responds in a simpler language now let's go a step further here explain to a child so now you will see how the answer changes to something that would make sense to a child so you can see how it changes the answer according to what is being asked or what is being expected by the user so that's the beauty of using chat gpt another advantage of using chat gpt is it understands different languages so just as an example let me ask if it understands hindi 
So it says yes. And now I ask in Hindi to give me an example. And I didn't even use the Hindi alphabet. So you can see I am typing in English, but the words are actually in a in, a, in the Hindi language. But I am not using the Hindi typical Hindi alphabets. So there are many different languages that can be used to interact with ChatGPT. So in the further videos, we will dive deep into what are the various use cases of ChatGPT. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section.